I'm feeling excited that people are going to go out and vote. I think the message is out. I think we have the base of support. It is primary day on Tuesday, and the race for the 5th Congressional De District is likely to be one of the most closely watched. Ilhan Omar facing another challenge from former Minneapolis City Council member Don Samuels. Today, our Bab Santos talked with both of these candidates. Babs? Well, a big part of this is going to come down to turnout. Both candidates needing to get voters to the polling places on Tuesday for an election night that experts really don't expect to have a great turnout. Forty-eight hours from a big rematch in Tuesday night's 5th Congressional District primary, both incumbent Ilhan Omar and challenger Don Samuels can agree on one theme. Whoever wins the August 13th primary will win again in November. This district hasn't backed a Republican in decades, and in that, Samuels sees a window. The voters have had three terms under Congresswoman Omar's leadership and service. Um, they are dissatisfied. Samuels admits his campaign has very similar policy positions as Omar's, but says the difference lies in his approach and ability to bring people together. She goes hard after one point of view, condemns the other point of view, alienates half of her district, and um, becomes divisive. Anybody who knows me and Don knows who the divisive one is. At an event near a Minneapolis church Sunday, Omar responded. Well, he's now adopted all of my policies because they, he knows that those are winning policies. Um, and I, I hope we actually heard <laughs> what he might actually want to do instead of just taking my full platform and running with it. I think she's probably the favorite to win. Longtime University of Minnesota political science professor and researcher Larry Jacobs says Ilhan's edge can be found in the balance sheet, where she's raised about $7 million dollars compared to Samuels, who raised close to $2 million. Jacobs believes Samuels also failed to energize voters because his policies are so similar to Omar's. I think Ilhan Omar will win by five points or more. And a reminder, just two years ago, when these two same candidates went head-to-head -head in 2022, incumbent Omar only won by about 2,500 votes, even though Samuels got into the game late and only campaigned for less than six months. So it'll be interesting to see what happens this time around. And, of course, we'll be on top of all of it here on Fox 9. Amy, back to you. All right, Babs, thank you.